Okay, you guys, this next class is a strength and conditioning class using your dumbbells. I hope you guys enjoy it. For this segment, let's grab some dumbbells. Now, ladies, uh, three kilograms, four kilograms, or five kilograms, depending on your strength, would be ideal for these programs. Um, fellas, let's work, let's start at around about five kilograms. If you're a little bit stronger, seven and a half, nines, 12 and a half. You certainly don't want to go over 15 kilogram weights with this one because you won't be able to finish the, the program. Okay guys, we're going to start to warm up. We're going to warm up just bending forward, working some uppercuts. Now what I'm going to do to get my legs involved as well, you can see I'm going up and down with it. Okay, just like that. Let's just start to warm up together. Let's go for a minute. Let's keep working through those. A little bit of a bounce, I want to start to get my quadriceps involved. You can see I'm keeping my elbows tucked right in, so really trying to warm everything up, get some blood flowing, and get ready for some action. And 15 seconds. Keep throwing those uppercuts out. Five more. Four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, guys, just another warm-up exercise. So we're going to go into a very light squat, come up into a light shoulder press. So you can see they're very light. It's not a full range movement, just a warm-up technique. We just want to get the blood flowing. So straight up, straight down. Now, as you start to warm up, we can start to increase the range a little bit. So you can see I'm going deeper on those squats now as I'm warming up. And five more. Four more. Three more. Two more. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Goblet squats for this next exercise, guys. So watch what I do. I'm actually holding on to one head on my dumbbell. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze my forearms onto the other head. I'm going to bring my hand underneath my chin. And I'm going to maintain that throughout the exercise. So I'm going to drop down until my elbows touch my quadriceps and lift straight back up. Now, you don't want to touch your knee. You want to touch your quadriceps, which basically means you're not folding over like this. You want to make sure you're maintaining your posture. And just like that. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, Christina. So you guys can see Christina's holding parallel feet and her knees are dropping right over her toes. Okay, we're not going in or out. We're basically making sure we're protecting our joints. Um, you can see she's also keeping a nice neutral spine throughout the movement, so she's not hunching over at all. Now, this is an excellent way of learning how to do squats because um, your elbows guide you and they essentially get you to the perfect position. Let's work through those. Excellent, you know exactly where to stop because the point your elbow touches your uh, quadriceps, you're almost in a perfect seat. You're in a vertical line and a horizontal line, which is where you want to be. Give me two more reps. You guys can see the weight's staying just underneath Christina's chin and it's not moving. One last rep. And have a rest. Okay, we're going to work a calves race combination for this one. I want you guys to watch. So I'm going to start off in a V position. We're going to work some V or ballet calves raises if you like. So from here, I'm just going to lift right up, get that pause at the top, drop back down with my heels together. Okay, just like that. Now, then what we'll do after 45 seconds, we're going to change it up. We're going to go pigeon toes. So your toes are touching each other just like that. I'm going to lift from here, really work the outside of the calves from here, okay? This one's really hard on your stabilizers because it's completely unnatural. It's going to really work the outside of your calves. Let's go. Okay, let's get into those calves raises, guys. Go. So you guys can see Sarah's holding a nice V. Heels are together, toes are right out. Um, we've got a nice 90 degree range between the toes there. 
And what you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you're putting a little pause at the top, okay? That point where you're really flexing your calves. Let's get that. Let's really hit it. And then come back down, rest, and go again. We're going to keep going. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one, and then we're going to change it, and we're going to go toes in. We're going to do a pigeon toe calves raise then. Let's keep working. Give me three more. Two more. Nice, steady movement. Let's not change the pace. And change them over now. So toes together, heels out, and go from there. Now, this one's a lot harder on your stabilizer, so you might tend to wobble a little bit. Doesn't matter, fight through it. Let's keep working through it. Throw it up. I want you to try and put a little bit more of a pause at the top. Perfect. So you feel that digging into your calves from underneath. You also feel it outside of your calves as well. Good. We've got five more left on this one. Good. One last one. Excellent. Have a rest. Okay, stiff leg deadlifts, guys. So I'm going to clasp my weights together just like that. Now, I'm going to keep my knees straight for this one. I'm going to drop forward. I'm keeping my spine neutral, so I'm not allowing it to do this, okay? Just holding it neutral, getting as far down as I can. I'm going to come back up and tighten my back right up again, okay? So let's try one more of those. And your turn. Okay, guys, let's get into those stiff leg deadlifts. Go. Excellent. So you guys can see Sarah's knees are staying nice and straight. Her spine's remaining neutral, so she's not allowing any hunch at all. Let's keep working. Dumbbells are sticking together. That's going to assist her with control. And as you work your way down, you're going to get a really good stretch in the hamstrings and the back of the knees as well. That's okay. Let's keep working with that. Let's keep working. Excellent. So you guys can see nice, steady pace that we're maintaining. I want you guys to do the same thing. Keep going. Two more reps. And have a rest. Good job. Okay, guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Okay, let's get into it, Christina. So you guys can see Christina's holding parallel feet and her knees are dropping right over her toes. Okay, we're not going in or out. We're basically making sure we're protecting our joints. Um, you can see she's also keeping a nice neutral spine throughout the movement, so she's not hunching over at all. Now, this is an excellent way of learning how to do squats because um, your elbows guide you and they essentially get you to the perfect position. Let's work through those. Excellent. You know exactly where to stop because the point your elbow touches your uh, quadriceps, you're almost in a perfect seat. You're in a vertical line and a horizontal line, which is where you want to be. Give me two more reps. You guys can see the weight's staying just underneath Christina's chin and it's not moving. One last rep. And have a rest. Okay, let's get into those calves raises, guys. Go. So you guys can see Sarah's holding a nice V. Heels are together, toes are right out. Um, we've got a nice 90 degree range between the toes there. And what you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you're putting a little pause at the top, okay? That point where you're really flexing your calves. Let's get that. Let's really hit it. And then come back down, rest, and go again. We're going to keep going. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one, and then we're going to change it. And we're going to go toes in. We're going to do a pigeon toe calves raise then. Let's keep working. Give me three more. Two 
two more. Nice, steady movement. Let's not change the pace. And change them over now. So toes together, heels out, and go from there. Now, this one's a lot harder on your stabilizer, so you might tend to wobble a little bit. Doesn't matter, fight through it. Let's keep working through it. Right up, I want you to try and put a little bit more of a pause at the top. Perfect. So you feel that digging into your calves from underneath, you also feel it outside of your calves as well. Good, we've got five more left on this one. Good, one last one. Excellent, have a rest. Okay guys, let's get into those stiff leg deadlifts, go. Excellent, so you guys can see Sarah's knees are staying nice and straight. Her spine's remaining neutral, so she's not allowing any hunch at all. Let's keep working. Dumbbells are sticking together. That's going to assist her with control. And as you work your way down, you're going to get a really good stretch in the hamstrings and the back of the knees as well. That's okay. Let's keep working with that. Let's keep working. Excellent. So you guys can see a nice steady pace that we're maintaining. I want you guys to do the same thing. Let's keep going. Two more reps. And have a rest. Good job. I'm going to work some skater squats for this next one, guys. So watch. So I'm going to grab my dumbbells, place them on my hip, and I'm going to drop it into a wide uh, squat position. You can see my feet are parallel and my knees are right out, so I'm not letting them cave in like that, pulling them right out. And from here, I'm going to glide to one side just like that, straighten that knee out, and then keeping the same height, I'm going to come out to the other side just like that. One more. Your turn. Okay, Christina, let's get into those scatter squats. Okay, so you guys can see we're moving the whole range. So we're basically moving until you've got a straight leg on one side, and then we're working our way back, getting to the other side, doing exactly the same thing. Now, you want to try and make sure you keep your feet nice and parallel, keep those knees out, and make sure we're not bobbing up and down. You want to try and glide right across, same height the whole time. Keep working. If this gets really difficult for you, you can drop your weights. Drop your weights, put your hands on your hips and do it from there. But in the meanwhile, let's keep going. Let's keep pushing strong. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. Keep working. Make sure you're maintaining your height. We want to make sure we're not lifting. One last one. And time. Okay, we're going to work an isometric calves raise for this one, guys, but we're going to do it from a V-squat position. Watch me. So I'm going to go into a nice wide uh, V-squat. I'm going to drop right down. I'm going to put the dumbbells on my hips, so this is a nice stationary place, and I can already start to feel the pressure on my quadriceps. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to lift right up, just like that, onto the ball of the foot, and drop straight back down. Nice and steady. This is going to be really hard to balance out. So right up and back down. Now, the trick is... Don't adjust your height. Your height has to stay stationary, okay? So we're not going to go up and down on this one. Just want to maintain that height. Your turn. Okay, let's get started with this one. It's a pretty hard exercise, you guys. It's really hard on your stabilizers. It's hard to balance. And it's a hard quadricep and calves exercise as well. So you're going to really use some lower body strength for this one. Now, you can see the weights are just rested on Christina's hip and we're not adjusting the height, okay? I'm gonna help you out, I'm gonna get you guys to just watch me for a second. If I put my hand here, Christina's not gonna go any higher than that. Perfect. Now you guys have gotta make sure you're doing the same thing, so we don't want any bobbing up and down. If you're doing this exercise for the first time, it's a good idea to do it in front of a mirror. Let's keep working. Good, give me two more reps, Christina. One last one. 
Good job, man. Way done. Okay, side leg raise for this exercise, guys. Now, watch what I've done. I've got a straight line going from my shoulder all the way to my ankle, and my bottom leg, as you can see, is perpendicular to my body. So I'm actually using a nice steady base so that I can really use my abductors and really use my obliques for this exercise. Um, my dumbbell is just resting with my arm nice and straight just on my top leg. I'm gonna lift from here. I'm gonna lift um, straight up. It's a vertical line right there. And straight back down. Just like that. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So, a couple of things to watch out for during this exercise. You want to make sure we're maintaining that straight line all the way through your set. Now, the other thing I want you to be conscious of, have a look at Sarah's foot, she's keeping it um, horizontal. Now, you don't want your toes to start to flip up because if they do, your hips riding back, it's, in, it's out of place, so you're going to need to push it back in place. Sarah's doing it perfectly. Let's keep working from there. And making sure your arms straighten right back out as you uh, pull right back down to the bottom. Let's keep working. Let's go for three more reps. And time. And go. So we've turned around, we're facing the other way now. And same exercise, opposite leg. Let's keep working through. Nice steady motion. You want to make sure you're maintaining the same pace throughout the whole exercise. Don't slow down or speed up. Let's try and maintain. Now you can get some assistance by really squeezing your obliques. The obliques can actually help your abductors out in this exercise. Now, I want you to watch Sarah's foot. What we're going to do from here is we're going to just change it over. I want to make sure this is nice and perpendicular. Push out with your heel and let's keep working. Much, much better. Two reps. One last one. And time. Okay, guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Okay, Christina, let's get into those scatter squats. Okay, so you guys can see we're moving the whole range. So we're basically moving until you've got a straight leg on one side, and then we're working our way back, getting to the other side, doing exactly the same thing. Now, you want to try and make sure you keep your feet nice and parallel, keep those knees out, and make sure we're not bobbing up and down. You want to try and glide right across, same height the whole time. Keep working. If this gets really difficult for you, you can drop your weights. Drop your weights, put your hands on your hips and do it from there. But in the meanwhile, let's keep going. Let's keep pushing strong. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. Keep working. Make sure you're maintaining your height. We want to make sure we're not lifting. One last one. And time. Okay, let's get started with this one. It's a pretty hard exercise, you guys. It's really hard on your stabilizers. It's hard to balance. And it's a hard quadricep and calves exercise as well. So you're going to really use some lower body strength for this one. Now, you can see the weights are just rested on Christina's hip. And we're not adjusting the height. Okay? I'm going to help you out. I'm going to get you guys to just watch me for a second. If I put my hand here, Christina's not going to go any higher than that. Perfect. Now you guys have got to make sure you're doing the same thing so we don't want any bobbing up and down. If you're doing this exercise for the first time, it's a good idea to do it in front of a mirror. Let's keep working. Good. Give me two more reps, Christina. One last one. Good job. We're done. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So, a couple of things to watch out for during this exercise. We want to make sure we're maintaining that straight line 
all the way through your set. Now, the other thing I want you to be conscious of, have a look at Sarah's foot. She's keeping it um, horizontal. Now, you don't want your toes to start to flip up because if they do, your hips riding back, it's, in, it's out of place. So you're gonna need to push it back in place. Sarah's doing it perfectly. Let's keep working from there. And making sure your arm straightens right back out as you uh, pull right back down to the bottom. Let's keep working. Let's go for three more reps. And time. And go. So we've turned around, we're facing the other way now. And same exercise, opposite leg. Let's keep working through. Nice steady motion. You want to make sure you're maintaining the same pace throughout the whole exercise. Don't slow down or speed up. Let's try and maintain. Now you can get some assistance by really squeezing your obliques. The obliques can actually help your abductors out in this exercise. Now, I want you to watch Sarah's foot. What we're going to do from here is we're going to just change it over. I want to make sure this is nice and perpendicular. Push out with your heel and let's keep working. Much, much better. Two reps. One last one. And time. Okay guys, we're going to work some rotations with a bent knee on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the dumbbell on the outside of my knee. I'm going to rotate right up so that my top leg gets to 12 o'clock. I'm going to drop it back down to 3 o'clock again, just like that. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into it. So a couple of important things uh, with this particular exercise. You've got to make sure your heels are close enough to your bum, okay? Because we want to be able to create good range of movement. The other thing is you want to make sure your dumbbell stays outside of your knees. You don't want to start to pull it up your thigh. Um, that's going to start to reduce the resistance. So we want to make sure we're not doing that. Um, working straight up, so you can see Christina's hitting a nice 12 o'clock and working your way back. I'm going to give you a little bit of assistance with this, Christina. Let's get it all the way out here. There you go. And straight back down, touch and rest, lift again. Perfect, just like that. Let's keep working. We've got three more repetitions on this side and then we're gonna change over. So be conscious of hitting that 12 o'clock every time. And change to the other side now. So we've changed over to the other side now, so we're just working the other leg. Now, you can see Christina's feet are just pinned against each other and it's just rotating one on top of the other. You don't need to actually create any movement. You don't need to lift your foot for this exercise. Um, just really working the outer glutes, um, making sure we've got plenty of resistance on it and nice steady technique. Let's keep working. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Three more reps. Last one. And rest. Okay guys, we're gonna do a side plank for this exercise, but we're gonna add a bit of a twist to it. Watch, so I lift myself up. Now to make life a little bit harder, I'm gonna grab my dumbbell and rest it on my hip. Just gonna hold it there, so we're gonna hold for 45 seconds. Your turn. Okay guys, I'm gonna do this one with you guys. So you can see a nice straight plank over here. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping a straight line um, all the way up my body. So pretty much from my ankles all the way to my head is a straight line. I'm gonna try and maintain that and you can see my arm is dropped directly underneath me, so I'm not putting too much pressure on my shoulder and just holding my weight here. 
perfect. Now, if it gets a little bit difficult for you, you can always just drop the weight, okay? Let's keep going. We've got around 20 seconds left on this one, so let's hold that plank right up. seconds to go. Now we're going to rest, we're going to change over and do the other side as well. So drop it down and let's change over. I've changed over to the other side now. So just hitting the same plank but using um, my other oblique. So you're going to really feel this one burning up in your obliques underneath you. Okay, let's keep holding it still. Hold that position. 15 seconds in, we've got about 30 seconds to go. Now you're gonna start to shake up a little bit, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. And just make sure you don't start to drop your hip. If I'm doing this, that's not really doing much. I wanna make sure I'm holding it right up the whole time. Okay, keep holding it nice and straight. Fight through it, we haven't got long to go. Five seconds. And you can stretch just by dropping your hip, just like that. Okay, we're gonna work a hip brace for this one. So watch, I'm gonna get my dumbbells and I'm gonna put them on my stomach this time, okay? Now, my feet are parallel and the shoulder width, and from here, I'm just gonna lift straight up. I'm gonna get to this point where I've got a straight line between my knee and my shoulder, and then I'm gonna drop back down and rest, and Lift again. Really squeezing my glutes and really squeezing my hamstring as well. Your turn. Okay, let's go, Christina. Perfect. So you guys can see the dumbbells are sitting on Christina's stomach. Her elbows are not touching the floor, so we're keeping those off. And basically what this is doing is this is just creating some additional uh, resistance for your hips raise. Now, if you're having some difficulty with this move, you can actually lose your dumbbells. Just drop them to the side if you have to. Um, if not, there are quite a few advantages in doing it this way. One is that you've got that additional amount of weight on your stomach and you've got no assistance from your arms, so you're purely relying on your shoulder blades and your feet holding you up. Um, this is a more difficult way of doing this exercise, but it's a really good, really effective uh, way of doing it. Let's keep working. Let's go for two more reps, Christina. One last one. We want to make sure we hit that straight line every time. And relax. Perfect. Okay, guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Okay guys, let's get into it. So a couple of important things uh, with this particular exercise. You've got to make sure your heels are close enough to your bum, okay, because we want to be able to create good range of movement. The other thing is you want to make sure your dumbbell stays outside of your knees. You don't want to start to pull it up your thigh. Um, that's going to start to reduce the resistance, so we want to make sure we're not doing that. Um, working straight up, so you can see Christina's hitting a nice 12 o'clock and working your way back. I'm gonna give you a little bit of assistance with this, Chris. Now let's get it all the way out here. There you go. And straight back down, touch and rest, lift again. Perfect, just like that. Let's keep working. We've got three more repetitions on this side and then we're gonna change over. So be conscious of hitting that 12 o'clock every time. And change to the other side now. Okay, so we've changed over to the other side now, so we're just working the other leg. Now, you can see Christina's feet are just pinned against each other and it's just rotating one on top of the other. You don't need to actually create any movement. You don't need to lift your foot for this exercise. Um, just really working the outer glutes, um, making sure we've got plenty of resistance on it and nice steady technique. Let's keep working. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Let's 
it for three more reps. Last one. And rest. Okay guys, I'm gonna do this one with you guys. So you can see a nice straight plank over here. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping a straight line um, all the way up my body. So pretty much from my ankles all the way to my head is a straight line. I'm gonna try and maintain that. And you can see my arm is dropped directly underneath me. So I'm not putting too much pressure on my shoulder and just holding my weight here. Now, if it gets a little bit difficult for you, you can always just drop the weight, okay? Let's keep going. We've got around 20 seconds left on this one. So let's. Hold that plank right up. Ten seconds to go. Now we're gonna rest, we're gonna change over and do the other side as well. So drop it down and let's change over. I've changed over to the other side now. So just hitting the same plank, but using um, my other obliques. So you're gonna really feel this one burning up in your obliques underneath you. Okay, let's keep holding it still. Hold that position. 15 seconds in, we've got about 30 seconds to go. Now you're gonna start to shake up a little bit. That's fine, nothing wrong with that. And just make sure you don't start to drop your hip. If I'm doing this, that's not really doing much. I wanna make sure I'm holding it right up the whole time. Okay, keep holding it nice and straight, fight through it. We haven't got long to go. Five seconds. And you can stretch just by dropping your hip, just like that. Okay, let's go, Christina. Perfect. So you guys can see the dumbbells are sitting on Christina's stomach. Her elbows are not touching the floor, so we're keeping those off. And basically what this is doing is this is just creating some additional uh, resistance for your hips raise. Now, if you're having some difficulty with this move, you can actually lose your dumbbells. Just drop them to the side if you have to. Um, if not, there are quite a few advantages in doing it this way. One is that you've got that additional amount of weight on your stomach and you've got no assistance from your arms, so you're purely relying on your shoulder blades and your feet holding you up. Um, this is a more difficult way of doing this exercise, but it's a really good, really effective uh, way of doing it. So let's keep working. Let's go for two more reps, Christina. One last one, we wanna make sure we hit that straight line every time and relax, perfect. Okay guys, Hindu push-ups for this next exercise. Um, there's a few different ways of doing this, but I'm gonna show you how I want you to do it today. Um, we're gonna go 45 degrees with the dumbbells. I'm gonna place my hands on them and I'm gonna get a stance. Basically my thumbs riding high on this one, my heels start off on the floor like this, okay? I'm gonna duck under, I'm gonna push right up and go back to my starting position right here. One more, just like that, and straight back. Let's get you guys to try this one. Okay guys, let's get into it. I'm gonna do this one with you, let's go. So you can see it's a snake roll all the way up here and then pushing right back until my heels are on the ground. Keeping my knees nice and straight for this one. So I'm getting a good hamstring stretch back here as well. I'm gonna feel it in the calves as well. Just like that. So under the fence, right up, pushing right back until you can really feel your calves stretching. We've got three more, two more, one last one, fight through it with me, and we're done.
weighted donkey kicks for this next exercise, guys. Watch how I do it. So I'm gonna set up by placing a dumbbell just behind my knee like that. I'm gonna lock it in place. I'm gonna go into my four points position, just like that, okay? Neutral spine, and you can see everything's shoulder width, nice and comfortable, ready to go. And from here, I'm gonna lift straight up into a straight line. So I want a straight line from my shoulder all the way to my knee. I'm gonna bring it back, not touch the floor. Lift again. One more repetition. And then we're gonna switch legs and work the other side as well. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those, Sarah. So you guys can see a perfectly balanced four-point position. So you can see vertical lines through the legs and through the arms as well. Um, Sarah has her hands in front of her. Um, if that's how you're comfortable, then that's fine. If you want to change the angle, that's okay. It's not about the upper body. It's all about the hamstring and the glutes. Now, you just got to make sure your heel remains as close to your bum as possible. You want to try and keep the weight locked in place the whole time. Um, the other thing you want to be conscious of is we want to try and hit that line every time. You want 180 degrees. Perfect, right there. Now we've got four more reps on this side, Sarah. That's one, two, three, one more. Perfect. Now I'm going to help you out. We're going to change the weight over and pop it on the other side. Lock it in place and go. range of movement, go at your own pace, and just make sure the moving knee doesn't touch the floor. Now, as you start to tire, you're going to start to shorten your movement range, so we want to make sure we're not doing that. We want to make sure you're going up all the way, squeeze with your glutes, squeeze with your hamstring, squeeze with your lower back, and get that full range of motion happening. Perfect, let's keep it going. We've got five more reps on this side. Two more. And you're done. Have a rest. Okay, guys, we're going to do some leg curls with a single dumbbell. I want you guys to watch me set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the dumbbell behind me. I'm going to grab it with the arch of my feet. So I'm going to go one and two like that. And from here, I want to make sure my knees are together. Um, just keeping my arms in a nice, comfortable spot there. I'm going to lift from here into a leg curl. Straight back down. I'm going to stop just before I touch the ground. Just like that. Now, you want to make sure your knees are together and you want to squeeze your feet together as well. And that way, you're not only holding the dumbbell safely, but you're also working your adductors and hamstring as well. Your turn. Okay, let's go, guys. So you guys can see Sarah's knees are pressing together, so she's actually working her adductors as well. And keeping your knees together helps you press your feet together as well, so it's just going to be sturdier, it's going to be uh, more comfortable movement, and no chance of dropping your dumbbell either. You can see we're getting a good range of movement, so she's going all the way to her butt, and she's coming back and stopping just before she touches the floor on this side. Um, arms are in a nice, comfortable position, so we don't have to worry about the upper body, just focusing on getting full range and really working the hamstrings and glutes on this one. Let's keep working. We've got 10 seconds to go. One last rep. And you're done. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're gonna repeat the last three exercises. Okay guys, let's get into it. I'm gonna do this one with you. Let's go. So you can see it's a snake roll all the way up here and then pushing right back until my heels are on the ground. Keeping my knees nice and straight for this one. So I'm getting a good hamstring stretch back here as well. I'm gonna feel it in the calves as well. Just like that. So under the fence, right up, 
pushing right back until you can really feel your calf stretching. We've got three more. Two more. One last one, fight through it with me. And we're done. Okay, let's get into those, Sarah. So you guys can see a perfectly balanced four-point position. So you can see vertical lines through the legs and through the arms as well. Um, Sarah has her hands in front of her. Um, if that's how you're comfortable, then that's fine. If you want to change the angle, that's okay. It's not about the upper body. It's all about the hamstring and the glutes. Now, you just got to make sure your heel remains as close to your bum as possible. You want to try and keep the weight locked in place the whole time. Um, the other thing you want to be conscious of is we want to try and hit that line every time. You want 180 degrees. Perfect, right there. Now we've got four more reps on this side, Sarah. That's one, two, three, one more. Perfect. Now I'm going to help you out. We're going to change the weight over and pop it on the other side. Lock it in place and go. range of movement, go at your own pace, and just make sure the moving knee doesn't touch the floor. Now, as you start to tire, you're going to start to shorten your movement range, so we want to make sure we're not doing that. We want to make sure you're going up all the way, squeeze with your glutes, squeeze with your hamstring, squeeze with your lower back, and get that full range of motion happening. Perfect, let's keep it going. We've got five more reps on this side. Two more. And you're done. Have a rest. Okay, let's go, guys. So you guys can see Sarah's knees are pressing together. So she's actually working her adductors as well. And keeping your knees together helps you press your feet together as well. So it's just going to be sturdier. It's going to be uh, more comfortable movement and no chance of dropping your dumbbell either. You can see we're getting a good range of movement. So she's going all the way to her butt and she's coming back and stopping just before she touches the floor on this side. Um, arms are in a nice, comfortable position so we don't have to worry about the upper body, just focusing on getting full range and really working the hamstrings and glutes on this one. Let's keep working. We've got 10 seconds to go. One last rep, and you're done. Well done, guys. You got through today's workout. Now, if you can turn your attention to your in-house instructor, he'll give you three minutes of stretching.